right. 45 plus years, under oh. almost 50, I guess, since I began. Right. Did you imagine at that time, or can you even remember <laughs> the thought of that you would still be doing this? No, I had no idea. You know, yeah. I thought, oh, I'll be a mother sometimes, I'll work when I can, and a lot of times I would I'd do something that I wasn't crazy to do just because it was good timing, mm -hmm. you know, I had a good nanny or whatever. And so this has just been an unexpected mm -hmm. windfall. I'm here with Blythe Danner, who has a film at Sundance, which I loved about uh, dating in your 70s, I guess, or late 60s, 70s, called I'll See You in My Dreams. Mm. Uh, a lovely film. I couldn't get enough of it. I thought, I loved all the characters. I loved your character in particular. She's an independent soul, you know? I think she feels she doesn't need anybody and then discovers she does. Mm -hmm. Everybody, I think, comes across beautifully and right. it was very it was a really mm -hmm. for somebody my age and you know been around as long as I am it's a real gift because mm -hmm. I don't get a chance to play something like this beautiful three-dimensional role in a certainly not in a studio film so I'm very very pleased what's your feeling on dating my my darling Bruce has been gone for 13 years and I met Mrs. Lou Gehrig once I had a chance to play her in a television film and she said you know when you've had the best the heck with the rest Mm -hmm. So uh, that's kind of how I feel, although I haven't had the opportunity. Nobody ever asks me out, so <laughs> poor me. I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm uh, happy. I'm, I'm fortunate to like my own company. I'm mm -hmm. kind of a loner. Mm -hmm. And I've got my grandkids, and what more do you want? And, right. and working a lot. I've been really fortunate to work a mm -hmm. lot. Uh, do you guys talk to each other at all? Do you, with your kids and stuff, I mean, Jake's director, obviously Gwyneth does her, uh, you know, She's got a compound now, basically, with Gosh, group and everything. And I work. know. Do you talk about projects and things that Not you do? Not a lot. You don't? Not a lot. We talk about kids and in her life and um, a, a small amount, but not a whole lot. Earlier, I mentioned that you had won a Tony when you were 26. And uh, my point of that really is, is that you have had such a varied, interesting career and you are still, I love that now you're at Sundance and you've got this movie. This film just means so much to me. Mm -hmm. It's just, it was a joy from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sam Elliott. Now yeah. I always think of him in Mask uh, and also in the, the kind of cowboy and the big Lebowski. Did you know him? <laughs> and he's also, and he's gotten three movies here. It's Amazing. incredible. He's with Lily and Grandma yes. and he was just in a film last night called Digging for Fire and he's in your movie. Uh, did you know each other before, no. or is it kind of, that's no, the first just, time? You know, that's that oh, just wow. knew that wonderful deep voice and that big white mustache. And yeah. Of, of course, I knew him as a great actor, but I didn't know him. Yeah. Well, you guys have the best hair in the business, <laughs> by the way. I'm just going to say it. Your hair is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, I'd like to give some of it away. It's too much sometimes.